Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your love in general reading. And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you come across this reading, then hopefully uh, it will resonate for you. Now, for you Sagittarius, the first card you have is the Judgment card. And I feel like for you, you're going through a period of transformation. It's almost as if you're stripping away the old and you're stepping into the new. A new sense of self, a new sense of power. You're looking at things from hindsight and you're coming to some sort of new realisations now about certain situations, certain people, you know, because the Judgment card is ruled by Cancer and Scorpio. Cancer is ruled by the moon. We are experiencing, you know, the energy of the new moon in Cancer. And Cancer is ruled by the fourth house. The fourth house also rules you know, well, cancer rules the mother, you know, fourth house rules the mother, the home, etc. So maybe you could be born on a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp as well. The reason why I say that is because the judgment card is Scorpionic energy as well. And Scorpio is ruled by the eighth house. There's an energy of transformation taking place in your life right now. I feel for some of you, you know, you may be looking at, you know, your family life your home life etc wanting to move and that could be a thing for some of you some of you could actually be moving home because at the bottom of the judgment card you have the ace of wands ace of wands speaks about new beginnings and every time i see the ace of wands i always feel like it's aries energy because you know during aries season it's all about you know stepping into a new cycle and I feel that some of you are stepping into a new cycle, a very exciting phase in your life. Again, some of you could be moving home, some of you could be traveling. You're definitely leaving something behind, something that you feel like you've outgrown. There's an the energy of you also judging situations, people, how people have behaved. There's also something here around you wanting to find a new job. And I feel like for some of you who have been looking for a new job, you may find this new job in the month of August. So I have the Eight of Pentacles here and I, and I have the Magician card. So this is clarification to say that if you have been manifesting for a new position, a new role, some of you may gain a new position or a new role, maybe in your neighbourhood or in another neighbourhood um, from where you live. And there's something about where you live that does not bring you abundance. So Spirit is saying some of you do actually need to move. Or if you work in the same area where you live, Spirit is urging you, for some of you, and you know who you are, to maybe move away. And there's also indication here of you making money from some sort of creative project. Or something that you do, something creative that you do will make you money. This could be like a side hustle. Some of you could be musicians painters dancers modeling um there's something here and i feel like some of you may want to decorate your new home as well so you could be looking at paints this month um the right paints to decorate your new home because some of you are definitely moving into a new property for others of you i feel like there's an energy of you judging uh a few people you may have come to some sort of awareness that someone was playing with your money uh, there's, there's an energy of manipulation here and you're, you're gaining some sort of awareness about this individual or these people. This could be an ex-wife, this could be, you know, a mother figure for some of you. Um, but th there's something here around you realising the truth about someone and what they've been up to. Um, there has definitely been some sort of spell work that has been involved in regards to maybe keeping some of you confused. So if you felt like things were quite blocked, quite stagnant, I definitely feel that there was someone in the background manipulating, you know, the energy, uh, maybe manipulating you. And it's almost like you, you've come to some sort of realisation about this and you've broken free from this. This could be something to do with someone wanting you to stay stagnant and stuck in your area, in your home life, not wanting you to break free not wanting you to make money for some of you and there's an energy of you coming to some sort of realization and seeing the truth and breaking free from this this could also be in regards to like a love partner could be dealing with like a gemini aries or a taurus sun moon rising mars or venus i'm hearing the word greed so 
you may have felt that someone was quite greedy and you're wanting to break free from this. It's the energy of not wanting to attach yourself to individuals who behave this way, inclined, and breaking free to a new beginning. 